AB's the boy that cried wolf. We've heard him over and over. I'm slapping this guy up. I'm stunting on him. He can't touch me. He can't do anything, you know? And um, the I, I wanted Broner to win. For once, I was in the underdog's corner. I wanted AB to win the fight. And really, I want Pacquiao to win the fight because I want to fight Pacquiao, right? So I got a lot of controversial feelings in that. But I, su I support AB as a, as a young, world-class fighter fighting a 40-year-old man that apparently he couldn't beat, right? But I didn't want to see that kind of Adrian Broner. I just wanted to, I, before the fight, pre-fight, I was encouraging, I was trying to encourage AB to show the world the AB that you guys used to say might be the next Floyd Mayweather. Once upon a time, he, he looked tremendous. And uh, you want to talk about out of mind, out of sight, who's AB today? About bullshit. Because I'm not an agent, brother. He got his ass cooked. He got cooked. You didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. <laughs> and I, was, I told everybody he was going to get cooked. Yeah. Then my brother was gambling with me at 4 in the morning. I had to kick him out the casino. Who was gambling with you? Damn it. No. Nice no. No. Stupid. No. No. Stupid. Right, hey, listen. He was with six or eight niggas. I said, all oh, y'all some bitch ass niggas. Cause y'all let him come down here and he got the biggest fight of his life. He can change your life, your life, your life, all y'all life, and y'all got him right here gambling. Mm. Y'all all some bitch ass niggas. <laughs> I love it. Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and Adrian Broner calls out Keith one time Thurman you know these guys had beef due to certain comments that were made uh pre Pacquiao <clears throat> and Keith Thurman said how he felt about Adrian Broner's performance against Pacquiao and Adrian Broner came right back with his own counter punch to Keith Thurman's performance against Manny Pacquiao so both of these guys have been beaten by Manny Pacquiao so Adrian Broner, AB, about billion, you know, he goes in, he says, hey, I might fuck around and fight Thurman on God Nim. So we haven't really heard what Keith Thurman had to say about that. He probably is not going to respond right now to it, but that would be a good fight. Like both of you guys have been beaten by the legend. Both of you guys are still young. Both of you guys are PBC. The fight can get made. It, I, it might be pay-per-view because, again, <clears throat> Keith Thurman didn't make a bad account of himself. You know what I mean? Adrian Broner just does what he's been doing for the last five years. Not about business enough. Not about boxing enough. Right? So he did what he normally did. He just did, a not, he, he just did a nut, enough to lose. He just did enough to lose. So to put these guys back into the ring, that could be a, a, a good fight, a good money fight. We got two talkers. We got two sellers of the, of the boxing game. Is it pay-per-view worthy, though? You know, so what? You know what I mean? Because what you ask yourself is Errol Spence, Sean Porter worthy, right? Shit, we're going to have that. We can have an A.B. Thurman, Right. And then honestly, truth be told, a lot of these fights get made because somebody does finally get beat. Now, Thurman, I guess he's like every other fighter. Like, hey, look, he vows to come back to the sport. And I got another video to do about Thurman. But guess what? <clears throat> At the end of the day, when you start getting beat, that aura, that fear, that phobia, right, of you losing goes away because it's, it's an already happened. Keith, one time Thurman, but it, it turns into one time Thurman. You've been beaten one time. So that one time, to it changes totally different meanings now, right? So to, for Adrian Broner to call out Keith Thurman saying, you know, it's easy work, you know, about billions, that kind of guy, I would like to see that fight. Because <clears throat> both of these guys had, what, had a lot to say about their own performances against a, a common fighter, right? And... Why not these guys get it all? They had so much to talk about themselves fighting one guy. Why don't these guys fight each other? So I'm down for it. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. I like the shit talk. I like the trash talk. I like all that. I like the buzz. I hope it does happen. 
Put it on pay-per-view. I don't care. Put it on pay-per-view, will you? Put it on pay-per-view. I'm excited about it. I like to see stuff like that. And if you notice, Adrian Broner did mention this, and I wanted to talk about this anyway and counterpunch how I felt about uh, Keith Thurman being out two nights in a row, confirmed by Adrian Broner, to four in the morning, right? Gambling with his boys, with his entourage, with his hindrances, right? Because that's all they were. You know what I mean? That, that couldn't have helped Keith Thurman. You know, a, a guy that says he don't drink or don't smoke, not, but you're in Sin City, you gambling. You know, we got to look at that. We have to look at look at what we have. No excuses. He got beat. He got beat. But it couldn't help him doing what he was doing. He should have been busier. And like Adrian Broner, he told all his entourage, y'all, all some bitch ass niggas to let him stay out to four in the morning gambling. Because he could have helped you, helped you, helped you over there, helped all of y'all. You know what I mean? And y'all got him gambling, you know? And, hey, it is what it is. I, so I think a score has to be settled. And I'm what I'm tired of, I'm tired of Twitter beefs. I'm tired of the, the uh, Javante Tank Davis shit talking and nothing. I'm tired of the talk and no action. Let these guys fight. Keith Thurman, let Keith Thurman, they both fought the legend. Let them get in the ring and fight each other. The talk is high, you know. All eyes are, well, I know eyes are still on Keith Thurman to see how he bounces back. He did respond well again. You know, I'm proud of him. You know, I mean, he did what he could in that fight. Adrian Broner just did enough to lose. But yeah, I'm down for these guys fighting. So you guys tell me what you think uh, about these two getting it on. Adrian Broner versus Keith one-time Thurman. Is it pay-per-view worthy? Is it worth happening? You guys tell me. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.